Hello, sports fans and replay baseball fans. You know what I have for you today? I've got an unboxing. Unboxing, that's right. And as Kurt Berglund likes to say on his channel, this is not a phony unboxing. This is actually happening in front of your eyes. I am seeing, I am opening this package for the very first time. Just like you're seeing it, I'm seeing it. And here we go. We're going to put it off to the side here so I can take these things out of here. And the first thing we have is payoff pitch 1969 set, which I have been waiting for, which luckily came because I know they're having problems over there at payoff pitch with the uh, owner of the company having health issues. So um, it did take a little longer to get here. In the background, you see my man, Chris Dufour. He's on his computer doing his thing. But yeah, here we go. Let me see if I can put this up in the screen. 1969. And who do you have in front there? Tom Murphy. I don't even remember what team Tom Murphy was on. Was he on the Pilots in no, he was on California. The Angels. Tom Murphy of is that California. A he is actually, yes, a reliever slash starter. In fact, he was mostly a starter. He started 35 of 36 games that he was in. And what else do we have? Uh oh, drum roll. What else we have is the set of make believe players. Let me get this up here. This is the make-believe set that um, Payoff Pitch does with make-believe teams and make-believe guys. I just thought it was interesting because I've never seen a company do something like that before where they just make up a bunch of players, they put them on a bunch of made-up teams, and they say, hey, this is a set that we have available. So you can see on the top it was... Let's look at some of those names right there. Some of those names that you are not going to recognize... You've got Bill Evans, J.P. Foster, Porter, J.P., what is that? J.R. Porter, and Dax Stone. Dax Stone. I Legend. cannot wait to see what Dax Stone does in real life. Hopefully in in real Eric Sizemore. <laughs> yes, Eric Sizemore. If you missed it, we have it up on the site, the out-of-the-park White Sox game against the uh, Boston Red Sox and the star of that game was Eric Sizemore. You need to go back and check that out. But that is, let me see, I'm pretty sure we don't have anything else in here. No, we've got some stuff, maybe a letter that says sorry, but you know, I've had health problems, so this is... <laughs> Now, it, it, and it even lists, well, you know what, they sent me, now this came in a PDF file as well, and I downloaded the PDF, but this is for the Make Believe set. It has all of the trades for the Make Believe season, and it, yeah, there you go, it's, it says fictional season right there. It's got all of the trades, and it has all of the teams and their rosters, and uh, you can see that right there. The teams and the rosters listings, which I would need if it's a bunch of make-believe players that are all just thrown into a package like this. I would have to know what teams all these guys are on, which is going to make it even harder than doing it, um, doing it with the doing you know separating out the 1969 set because in a lot of cases I might know where the guys on the 1969 set were plus they have their team names on the cards and at least in the case of Bill Evans, J.R. Porter and Dax Stone there is no team on their card maybe because they're thinking hey these are the teams that we put everybody on but these are all make-believe players if you want to put them on a different team be my guest so anyway I just thought that was kind of a, a cool thing a little different um, uh, currently, I do not think you can, um, I think it's still a situation that you can't get, um, 
you know, the pre-cut, pre-printed teams from Payoff Pitch, you still have to get, um, do uh, PDF downloads and cut them out yourself for the time being. But hopefully uh, the company will soon get back to where they are sending out, um, you know, the pre-printed teams like this. Because I prefer these. Um, to me, it's just easier, and the cardstock is great on these, and if I do it on my own printer, the cardstock is not so much. The only advantage I see to the uh, PDFs is if, you know, I spill coffee or I get Cheetos on, you know, a team, then I can print the team back off, and, and I've got a, you know, refreshed team. But if I do that to these kinds of cards, no. Not so much. So um, that is what I got for you. Just wanted to show you that. And uh, I don't know how those are going to be incorporated. Well, I do, actually, at least with the 1969 set. After I do my 1979 White Sox replay, I'm thinking very seriously of doing a 1969 Seattle Pilots replay. Uh, but as far as the make-believe uh, guys and the make-believe teams, I have no idea how I'm going to incorporate those, but it's just, like I said, a novelty to have it. So that is going to be it for me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.